Hey guys, welcome in. If you are new or just passing through to my channel, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you're returning, welcome back, squad. Here today to do another general collective reading. Um, we're not science specific here. We're also gender fluid. I may say you and I'm talking to them. May say them talking to you. Put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. Remember that time and energy are fluid. I could be talking about the recent past. Might be speaking about the present. Could also be talking about the future. So take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you'd like to book a personal more line with your own story, all of my information can be found below in the description box and my books are always open. All right, so let's jump in and see what Spirit wants to talk about. Child, my allergies have been giving me the blues for the last couple of days. Like I slept good last night, but I woke up at like three o'clock this morning having a sneezing fit and I'm on medication and it wasn't working last night. <laughs> um... So I don't know what the hell's going on, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. All right, let's jump in and see what's going on, guys. Hope everybody is doing well. Whenever you seem to catch this, because I don't know if it's going to get uploaded. I always think that when I'm recording, I never know what's going to upload. All right, so let's see. So, potentially, somebody may be making some plans, um, either making plans that, and they're not happy about having to make those plans, or somebody is making plans that don't necessarily include, like, a love relationship. I also see that as well. Okay, so the struggle, there may be somebody here that may be having some um, anxiety. There could be some imbalance within their, you know, within their energy. Um, I am picking up some fear. And again, like, there's this strategy. Somebody is making a plan. Again, it might be a plan that they're having to make, and they're not real thrilled with the idea. Um, and that could be why there's a little bit of resistance, is the word that I heard. Um, I feel as though spirit is trying to guide someone forward and they're in a, a position right now where it feels very comfortable wherever they are. Like, and this could even be just about like where they are in life. Like this is somebody who, um, you know, like their life could literally be a dumpster fire, but they're afraid to take the next steps. They're afraid to, you know, move forward because, you know, they're still grappling with, you know, the fear of the unknown and all that stuff. I don't know what's over there, so I don't want to go over there. Um, and it's wild because people who live in that energy, they really don't realize how much they're missing out on by not taking those steps, by not mustering up strength and courage to overcome their own fear. And a lot of that is ego, okay? Yes, I have somebody here who is definitely, okay. I'm going to tell you what this is. <laughs> I have somebody here who, and this is part of their lesson. It, it's giving me, it's, it, it's giving me Capricorn. And I, you know, I don't, I don't call out the signs here, but it's giving me big Capricorn energy for whatever reason. Um, and it doesn't even have to be Capricorn. It could just literally just be devil energy. I mean, I'm sorry for those Capricorns who don't really like to resonate with the whole concept and idea that you are represented by the, the devil in the tarot. But that's literally this. This is somebody here whose greatest lesson, I feel like, was to kind of release themselves from the mask that they have been wearing, you know. And this is somebody who um, I feel like... This is the energy of someone who uses the mask and their money as a means to create their identity around, okay? So this could be somebody who, you know, on the outside for appearances, they're, you know, doing rather well if they are. Um, somebody who's, you know, it, it appears that they're doing well, it appears that you know, they're financially sound. However, this person doesn't really live authentically. They wear a mask and they are hiding their true selves from the rest of the world. And why? 
fear, fear of judgment, fear of rejection. So they put on the air of who they think people want to see, and that's who they show up as. That's wild. Um, and really what I'm seeing here is there's somebody who, child, look at this. Somebody doesn't want to do the healing work. I, I mean, I've been talking about this, and so I guess we're talking about it again today. <laughs> and what I just, it's funny, because as I just said that, I heard there, this is somebody who's breaking their own heart. They're breaking their own heart because I feel like this person is really trying to avoid doing the work that is necessary to heal themselves. Um, I feel like this is somebody who may have tried to skate around doing the work. I think that kind of came up like yesterday's reading was like, you know, there was major work that needed to be done, something that needed to be cleaned up. And I feel like there's a, there's a confidence issue here. Somebody, you know, like spirit is leading somebody, but this person is afraid to walk through that door. They're afraid to go through the door of spirit, which is why it's in the reverse. Um, and this person is looking for other options. I, I really feel like this is somebody who's trying to bypass the whole spiritual awakening ascension healing growth dark night of the soul like this is somebody who's really trying to run away from it um and and they're not finding a whole lot of happiness or or victory in it with happy family and victory both in the reverse next to broken heart um i feel as though you know if this was somebody that was in a family night this could be a family dynamic it could even be like you know somebody that you had deemed as family somebody that you considered as family because you've known them for a long time this person may have started to lose all of those connections, right? Um, and now they're left heartbroken. Again, this person does not want to do, they just, they don't want to do the healing work. They're not listening to their intuition or they've been stripped of said intuition. I also, I also feel as though Wow. When I tell you, and I shuffle the hell out of these cards. I want to say most of the cards that are out here, they're all in the reverse. What's wild is this person's progress has been blocked. Because I feel like there's this person may have done something um, against the collective. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they made a decision. Um, this person made a decision to potentially go against someone in their family and they were doing it for the purpose of some type of financial, you know, some type of abundance, some type of, of financial something here. Okay. Um, but by them making that decision, they don't get the victory. And this person has, this, they, I want to say this person has wait, done, they, they were playing the long game. So this could be definitely somebody that you're related to. This is definitely somebody that you've been dealing with for a long period of time. I feel like this person, um, you could potentially be very, you know, very, very intuitive. And the person that you're dealing with is not. And they have just kind of hung, I heard hung in there. But I kind of feel like this person, it's almost like, I heard healing by proxy. It's kind of like, okay, so collective, you've done the work, you've, you know, you've, you've, you've ascended, you're doing, you've experienced your dark night of the soul. You've, you know, really unpacked a whole bunch of trauma and, you know, you've grown past it, right? I kind of feel like this person has kind of hung, you know, hung back still in your energy, but not necessarily like in direct contact for some of the, for some, ugh, for some of you, they may be somebody that's like in direct contact with you. But I'm kind of getting the energy that this person doesn't want to walk away or they haven't walked away or, or refused to walk away because they kind of feel like if I stick enough, if I stick with you long enough, like I'm going to heal just by you having, you know, by having your energy in my life. And that's kind of what this looks like. 
Um, I also feel like this person um, may have anticipated, especially if they've been watching you for any length of time, like they may see you on a trajectory on a certain trajectory and they see, you know, they kind of see where you're going. Um, and I feel like this person has, you know, they've literally been waiting it out. I feel, um, waiting for this blossoming abundance to come forward. The problem is, is that because they made this choice, this is a choice. I feel like they only chose, made this choice because of your potential for blossoming abundance. It kind of reminds me, I think I said this in a tweet, oh, years ago. And I said something like, people who don't shine on their own tend to stand under the glow of other people hoping to catch those rays. You know what I mean? And it's like, if they don't have their own individual shine, this, they, this person will stay like, say you're, you're the shine, you know, you, you embody the shine, right? And so your glow kind of like cast out this, you know, web of the extra glow. And so this person stands really close to you so that some of that glow can sprinkle on them and it puts them in a better light, not necessarily an authentic light, not even necessarily a positive light, just light, you know, this is the energy of somebody who just really wants to be seen. It's a, this is a lot to unpack. This is somebody who just really wanted to, they wanted to amass this abundance. And I mean, it's shown up and this is just oracles, but it's shown up in other readings. When I pull the tarot, it's like, you've got this abundant, stable life. And somebody knows, like they know that you've got something coming up or you've got something coming up, you know, a little bit down the pike. And this person's literally just kind of been waiting patiently for your come up to come up. Because I definitely feel like this person wants to come in and they're very antsy. This is, I'm getting restlessness. I'm getting restlessness. And it's interesting that the, the cards that directly relate to like love and compassion. Um, even healing. They're in the reverse. So we got somebody here who's heartbroken um, they may even be sick, unable to rest, being very restless at night. And it's because whatever they strategized over here, whatever they were strategizing, it isn't working. They, do, they chose specifically to go against their family for the sake of abundance and collective. If you are aware of this. It's your awareness that has protected you. Child is a bunch of angels out here. You're protected. So I wouldn't even worry about it. Okay. But I will say that whoever you're dealing with, they're dealing with a bunch of anxiety. And I feel like there's, there's someone here who is definitely keeping a secret. And I want to say that's about to be illuminated. <laughs> it's about to be illuminated. Not only is it about to be illuminated, they're no longer going to be able to continue doing whatever it is that they've been doing up to this point. I feel like God is about to put a whole kibosh on that. All right. Especially if this person, I think, and this is funny because this card came out in the same place me yesterday. Somebody here lost the gift. Collective, you were the gift. And the crazy part about it is that was supposed to happen. They fumbled the bag in a big way. 
you listen to your intuition and even though it's crazy because you have this intuition you have this deep knowing this person that you're dealing with does not and it is balanced by by them losing if if they fumble the bag and you're the bag and they lost you they were meant to lose you it's crazy because I got a bunch of cards out here of intuition and I definitely feel like part of this person's lesson was for them also to tap into their intuition. I also feel like maybe for past cycles, your energy has been protecting them. And right now they're trying to avoid an ending or they're trying to avoid things changing. They are refusing to self-reflect. Meanwhile, you're over here grounded. I heard wealthy in spirit. Amen. You're listening to your guides. You're following the directives. You're going with the flow. You are not worried about divine timing because you know things all happen when they're supposed to, especially if you're waiting for something to be illuminated to you. There have been some, oh, okay. check that out so i also feel like there's something here somebody's been doing something behind the scenes it's been a it's somebody i said somebody's trying to avoid an ending or they don't want something to change right but there's been some lies there and i feel like spirit is like spirit is waking you up or spirit has woken you up it was a matter of time for you to be able to see the work that somebody has been doing behind the scenes. Somebody may have been doing work against you over a long period of time to create some kind of complication within your life, to complicate your finances, to complicate your, I heard your reality, but more so I'm thinking like your stability whatever you deem as stable like this could be a job it could be you know your home life if you have a family it could literally be your family like you know the family under your roof it could literally be your family life i feel like somebody here was doing work behind the scenes in order to create a series of bad luck events in order to complicate your life complicate your finances complicate your stability Oh, baby. But it's no longer hidden. You now see this connection. You are, you realize or reckon you're awake to the lies within the connection. There may be some lies surfacing about a home. It may have something to do with a home. Somebody has been really working hard. I'm looking at just this one line. Somebody has been working hard as hell to hide the work they've been doing to create a sense of anxiety, to create bad luck, to create to create complications, to affect your finances. But you're not asleep anymore. And this has been going on for a long time. And whoever this person is, they felt that they could keep this lie up permanently. But it's a failure.
this person doesn't want to change. They've been maybe withholding withholding some kind of message or maybe a message that needs to make its way to you. And I also feel like if this message had made its way to you, it would have changed the dynamic of this relationship a lot sooner. All right. Where are we? That's 20 minutes in. I ain't pulled a single tarot card. <laughs> Just told a whole last story. All right. 